1441 Pizzeria and I have with me a delicious looking paneer tikka pizza. And now it's got me wondering how did all these fresh ingredients reach the restaurant in the first place? Well, I have the woman responsible for this very, very tough task. Mansi Mahansarya of Just Deliveries. But her journey didn't just start off. She was actually an investment manager at a PE firm before she took this tough decision of starting her own business or as her husband likely calls her, a trucker. So let's find out what her entrepreneurial journey was like. Mansi, thank you so much for joining us on The Money Show. And I think I should kickstart your journey uh, from where you kickstarted your journey and that's your job. So why don't you first start off with uh, what was your job like? I mean, uh, you know, you were an investment manager, you were working in the financial space. That does tend to give out a lot of moolah uh, from our conversations, of course, with a lot of people in their space. So tell me a bit about your first job. Yeah, so I was quite lucky. Uh, I graduated from uh, FMS Delhi and I joined IDFC from campus and I worked with their private equity division for three, four years. So we used to fund companies that were building India's infrastructure. Oh, okay, interesting. So now you are the one who is yes, building India's absolutely. infrastructure. Yes, absolutely. I think a lot of that inspiration come, came from there. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll talk a little more about your inspiration. But uh, uh, tell me also this, that uh, when it came to your job, was it a high-pressure job? I mean, was that one of the reasons why you decided that, hey, maybe I should now um, think of doing something else? Or was it like just your regular 9 to 5 job? Um, it, it was an intense job, but um, it's not the stress angle that prompted me, honestly. I think it was a couple of reasons back then. I wanted to spend more time with my child. I wanted to build something of my own, get my hands dirty. Uh, but most important, it was uh, that I wanted freedom. And I wanted freedom of time. Um, you know, I love traveling. And I used to hate asking for leaves and being subject to leave approval to travel. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to create a company which would function and which would generate money whether or not I'm in office. Okay, so some more flexibility in time. Okay, so that is something that sort of inspired you to leave your job. But of course, it's not easy. I mean, uh, you know, being a business person is not for everybody. And I'm sure during that transition, you did have certain difficulties, uh, did you? Absolutely. I think the first three years were really tough. Yeah. For any business, it can be very challenging uh, to set up from scratch and then further depends on the industry you're in. Yeah. For me, I had to deal with drivers and delivery boys and vehicle breakdowns and delivery of cakes and perishable foods. Um, it, it's, it's quite challenging. Um, jobs can also be very stressful, but the variables are few, you know. In a business, there are way too many variables and you have to get used to rejections. You have to get used to deciding things every single day. Um, but um, if you overcome the thousand day challenge, people say there's a thousand day challenge, stick in your business for three years, things start looking up. Today I, we are in the fourth year of uh, Just Deliveries and I'm enjoying my journey. I'm enjoying building my company bit by bit. So it was very challenging. I think there were so many days when I'd wake up and I'd say, why am I doing this? Why don't I just go back to a job? That temptation can be strong. Yeah. But stick in there if you believe in what you're building and you'll go places. So tell me a bit about Just Deliveries now. I mean, like you said, fourth year. And, and you know, you, you gave our audience a bit of a hint by saying that you make all these cake deliveries and flower deliveries. And that, I think, is a very, very tough job because I know how I struggle to balance my one pastry <laughs> when I am traveling in Mumbai roads. So tell us a bit about Just Deliveries. So um, Just Deliveries, we did start out as a cake delivery service, but we quickly pivoted. So now uh, we deliver inventory for restaurant chains, for uh, fresh food companies like for 1441. Mm -hmm. They need their pizza dough to be got at four to six degrees. They need their fresh vegetables, their cheese to be carried at the right temperature. So we move food from their central kitchen to their outlets. And the whole idea was that you have a Swiggy, you have a Zomato that brings food from the restaurant to the customer. Mm -hmm. But there's no service that allows restaurant chains to move their inventory especially the whole small and medium restaurant chain fresh food companies. So that was the inspiration behind Just Deliveries and um, um, Touchwood, it's, uh, it's doing really well because we enable our food clients to grow faster 
because they have the entire backbone of logistics now in capable hands. Okay. Financially, when you made the transition, and I think the biggest difficulty is that when you're in a job, you have that fixed monthly income and you don't have to worry about that, right? But of right. course, now that you have a, you're a business person, uh, it's not necessary that your income levels are, uh, you know, stable. Um, they fluctuate a lot. So uh, when it comes to your lifestyle, you know, you have a child as well, uh, you, you know, his lifestyle, um, were there any drastic uh, changes or cutbacks perhaps that you had to uh, enforce to enable you to make this transition? Yes, yes. I think it's very important uh, to be frugal in the initial years. I think even while someone's in a job and thinking of a business, it's important to start building up savings, you know, uh, to be able to invest in your business as you grow. And even once in business, um, the initial years, it takes a lot of time to really generate a good amount of cash or even to match salaries. You know, I'm still not there, you know. Um, but, um, uh, but the fact that you're building something, the fact that you can see the end result, yeah. right, keeps one going. So yes, uh, we can't be trigger happy with our credit cards anymore, <laughs> knowing there's a paycheck coming. Um, but yes, if you're frugal, we can, uh, we can get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the biggest challenge then? I mean, now that you're a businesswoman versus when you were, you know, simply working on that paycheck, uh, what's the biggest challenge as an entrepreneur that you're facing? Um, honestly, I think the challenges are many in the initial years, Mubina. Um, it's, it's, it's quite taxing, um, but each day becomes better. And if, if, like, I just approached Just Deliveries as solving one taking one step at a time, you know, as doing small projects bit by bit. So I wouldn't say that, I mean, today I wouldn't trade for, for anything. So, um, yeah, I, I don't uh, find um, any challenges currently, but the first few years were definitely challenging. Did you have a role model maybe in your family or, or your friends, someone who inspired you or guided you? Did you have any guiding force like that while you were in your journey? Yes, my, uh, my dad um, used to always put it in our heads that we have to be job creators. Okay. We have to build something of our own. Mm -hmm. I was very lucky that uh, he put that into my head. And um, I was very uh, lucky to have a great uh, first boss at IDFC Private Equity, Louis Miranda, who, who really inspired me. And now, of course, uh, my mom's been my greatest supporter, um, and my husband, Harsh, my in-laws. I think for a woman to succeed in business, she needs family support. If your family is with you, yeah. there's no stopping you. When you started your business, did you have any second thoughts? I mean, you know, maybe six months into the business or seven months into the business that, hey, maybe I should just um, stop what I'm doing because I'm not seeing success. And were you ever tempted to go back to your job? All the time. Until last <laughs> year. Until last year. I would actually ask my husband and be like, listen, should I just go back to a job? What is this? Where am I going with this? But uh, not anymore. So like I said, the thousand day challenge. Thousand day challenge. Okay. So, so if I have to look at just deliveries in your one when you started I mean I think a parameter would be how many restaurants perhaps that you were catering to or how many vans would you have that too would be a great parameter to judge it with versus what it is now how 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 would you look at the growth and and where are you now versus what you were back in 2014 2015 um, so we started off with uh, two small air-conditioned vans and uh, we have since then uh, I think grown five times in revenue uh, we now have 15 trucks right from the smaller vans to the larger trucks. We were only in Mumbai, now we do intercity, Mumbai, Pune. So it's been a fabulous journey. So where did you get your seed money from? I mean, purely was it um, when you were working? So how many years did you work for in a job? Um, I was working for about six years. Okay, so six years, I think yes. it's a good enough time to Absolutely. accumulate your savings. Yes. So did you start off your business purely on savings? Yes. Okay, all right. And since then, it's been surviving through the internal accruals of the property. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay.
her, uh, a word of advice for all the women out there, for all the men also out right. there. I mean, I, I know they too could use a little bit of advice, but they would <laughs> ask for it. Uh, but yeah, share some advice then uh, for all the the you know the employees out there uh, who want to be job creators, but of course have the same uh, fears that how will that you know monthly income come in? What advice would you share with them? So guys, um, if you are already in a job, it's like half the battle won because you've already worked in big companies, you, you already know what professionalism is. And um, I think it's just two things. One is you have to be very passionate about some idea or some skill that you have or you have to identify a clear need gap somewhere, you know, that's not solved. Uh, so go after that, you know. Once you've identified that, once you know you're passionate about something and you want to commercialize it, please uh, take the leap and uh, don't um, overthink you know we tend to uh, try and make perfect plans and try to do analysis and paralysis don't do that take the leap because once you start swimming your business will evolve you will evolve and you will you will keep changing and you will get success Okay, all right. Have something to be passionate about and don't overthink it. Once you found your path, just set straight towards it. Manji, you've given us a lot of lessons, so thank you so much and we wish you all the very best for Justin. Thanks, Mubina. Thank you so much.